Hi, hello, welcome back to the channel. This is Balaji. I am posting a video after a long time, but a very interesting question this time. Uh, the question says, find overlapping events. So let's go back to the question and see uh, how what's the question about. So here we have the question. We have an event ID. We have the start date of an event, the end date of an event. So the question says, find all the events among the list which are overlapping with each other. Example. If you see here, let's go through each of the events. Right. So this event starts on 6th of August and ends on 10th of August. And the following event starts on 9th of August and ends on 15th of August. So it's overlapping on the 9th and 10th. So that's what you're going to find out how to uh, get all the events that are overlapping. The same logic works even when there are overlapping date timestamps and you're going to apply the same logic so let me explain how the logic works the logic is not straightforward but needs a bit of thinking but an easy logic if you understand the uh, working of it so i will put it down for you say for example we have an event here a i'll highlight it here as orange so this is event a and let's put it off the dates uh, 6 to 10 6 7 8 9 10 and let me delete this right and uh, event number 5 is from 9th to 15 so 9 starts here 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 let's put it on a different color right Okay, how does this logic work? All right, done. So how does this logic work? Uh, considering this has event A and this has event B, the logic says this. So you'll have to join on where A dot start date is less than b dot in date and a dot in date is greater than b dot start date so let's iterate through the logic and let's understand it so i'll put down this thing here so according to this event overlap let's see how it works so here the a dot start date is 6 and b dot end date is 15 and they should be lesser so 6 is less than 15 yes it works now b dot end date is 10 b dot sorry a dot end date is 10 b dot start date is 9th and therefore a dot end date is greater than b dot start date does it work yes it works let's look into it in the different cases example the event entirely overlapping each other so let me just change the colors to yeah so this will be fourth fifth so on and so forth let's see if the logic works for this kind of a problem also so what do we do here with the same logic a dot start date is 6 b dot end date is 15 and is a less than b yes now a dot end date is 10 b dot start date is 4 is uh, end date greater than start date yes so it works and let's even take a situation where it's entirely internally overlapping so something of this sort all right so you see uh, even b is internally overlapping event a 
All right. So does this logic work? Let's see. Right. So is six less than nine? Yes. That is a uh, a dot start date and b dot end date. And is ten greater than seven? Yes. And therefore the logic works. Uh, let's write a query on this. So I have the data here already put down. So let's select the data. Select all from uh, events. All right. I'll name this A. Then let's inner join. We are inner joining it only because we need only those events that are overlapping and not the additional events. So inner join events B. Because we are joining uh, the records from one table to the records in the same table. So let's put down the logic events B on A dot start date less than B dot end date and A dot end date greater than b dot start date all right we'll keep solving it more as and when we find out more edge cases okay what do we see here we have the same events overlapping each other because the same events also follow the clause so let's write this uh, clause where the same events are not overlapping so let's write as a dot even sorry and a dot event id not equal to b dot event id what does it give it gives us those events that are overlapping so if you see the first uh, output it says uh, 9 to 15 and 6 to 10 so the date of 9 and 10 are overlapping for these two events but also do you see that uh, these events are repeating uh, example 5 and 4 and 4 and 5 so these are essentially the two same pair of events but they for the follow the clause and they are overlapping so that's why it's shown as now shown in the output so we have a solution for this also so this is called a bidirectional inequality so because this is checking if a is not equal to b and b is not equal to a let's make a small change here that is called a unidirectional inequality where we just remove the greater than here so it's unequal only on one side and it follows our uh, clause right so great so uh, let's take an example another edge case where only one date is matching that is overlapping so only the date number 10 is overlapping but not the rest so the, does it uh, does our solution answer this let's check it out so right now we do not have any such cases let me just make a small change here like 6th and 7th event where i'll make it 14 to 17 and 17 to 19 let's run it right it doesn't show up because we are only giving a lesser than or a greater than symbol here but it does not equate the end date so let me just give a equal to symbol right so we have the event where only the end last date is overlapping so this is how you solve the problem if you have any more questions do feel free to put down in the comments and i'll be free to answer it thank you